happiness through curiosity on TRS Clips. Say tomorrow quantum computing is perfected. Mm -hmm. We understand the technology fully. Why don't you run us through some of the applications of quantum computing and how it's going to change human life? And this mm. is in the 2030s or 40s. It's predicted to happen by then. Go on, sir. So there are certain uh, operations that if you would ask a regular computer to do, it would take it uh, maybe thousands of years. Uh, because see, when you, in, in a regular computer, you have uh, CPUs, you have GPUs, you have microprocessors, you have multiple cores that work at the same time. Let's say you have a quad core computer. I don't, I think it's an ancient term, but let's say you have 16 cores, 32 cores. Uh, in a sub supercomputer, you may have thousands of cores working at the same time, which means that you have lots of co computations happening at the same time. And yet it's not going to be enough because there are certain uh, operations that will not work with that. So if you if you want to optimize a database and if you want to run through the database in a certain optimized manner, it will take too long. And uh, various uh, mathematical problems like the prime, like calculating prime numbers, etc., can take too long. And prime numbers are very important in crypt cryptography, cryptography and things like that. You know, which are which is a very real world thing. Uh, so there are certain operations, certain computations that will just take too long. But if you have a quantum computer, you can do them those operations in a manner of matter of minutes maybe maybe even in a matter of seconds so that's where quantum computers in certain uh, applications of computing can vastly outperform a standard regular computer even a massive supercomputer like the top 10 supercomputers it will still outperform that so that's why the world is focusing on quantum computing now and it is possible that quantum computers may crack any kind of cryptographic algorithm uh, any kind of crypto cryptographic uh, uh, algorithm or or crypto uh, encryption you know mm. so you may be able to break any encryption no matter how powerful it is uh, and things like that you may be able to hack into any uh, any 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 application and you know know there's a the possibilities are essentially infinite yeah. uh to understand the same point about possibilities and applications further i want to tell people that all of biology is chemistry all of chemistry is physics and all of physics is mathematics and i learned this line from you you said mathematics is the language of the universe yes which means that even when you look at colors when you look at shapes it's actually mathematics at play now the mathematics of the universe is so complex that it's beyond the human mind to understand how much mathematics is around you. Which is why mathematicians are a rare breed in the first place, I assume. Now, here you have a machine that's way more powerful than any mathematician that the world has ever seen. It's way more powerful than any computer of the past. Effectively, you might be able to simulate a universe within that computer. One of the applications of supercomputing today is weather modeling, weather modeling, weather prediction. And it's really hard to predict weather beyond a few days. And it, it's even hard to predict the kind of weather you will have tomorrow. But if you have a quantum computer, it could make the job much easier to pre predict the extremely complex weather patterns of, of, of the planet Earth. And uh, the other thing, like you mentioned, is let's say you want to simulate the birth of the universe, or you want to simulate uh, the evolution of a galaxy based on just a collection of dust that you give a certain number, certain, certain set of properties and you see how it evolves over time. So that takes an enormous amount of computing power that you only can use supercomputers for and that even then it takes a lot of time to compute that but in a quantum computer it may happen it will definitely be able to will be able to do it much faster and like you said we'll be able to simulate universes tiny universes toy universes baby universes but that's the first step so the f initial quantum computers will be able to simulate cert a universe of a certain size but eventually if you have a large enough uh, quantum computer with enough sufficient power you may be able to create entire universes within that and another thing that we cannot simulate on regular computers is is uh, quantum mechanics itself you know uh, chemical reactions uh, the way different molecules interact with each other, how will a protein molecule react under certain conditions uh, and things like that. So you could actually be able to discover drugs, new drugs based uh, using quantum computers and you would be able to even see the kind of reactions these drugs will have on various kinds of people and things like that. So lots of applications are there out there which we currently cannot do using regular computers. So science will get furthered. Yes. Likely engineering will get furthered because science is getting furthered. The moment engineering gets furthered, a lot of human possibilities open up. Better yes. artificial intelligence bots, better 
application for space travel there's no limit to what can happen the moment science forwards itself yes but what are some industries that will benefit immensely one that i understand is pharmaceuticals like pharmaceuticals. medicines yes we're going to find the cures possibly for a lot of diseases that we don't know how to cure right now yes cancer for example yes we might be able to find the ultimate cure for cancer mm-hmm. through quantum computing yes um what other industries will heavily benefit from quantum computing uh quantum computing uh, definitely a uh, cryptography could could be you know you may be able to create unbreakable uh encryption or you may be able to break the most un- uh, unbreakable encryption right now the jury is still out there but that's something that could happen uh, medicine healthcare uh, database s- searches a uh, simulation of various kinds of of, of phenomena scientific phenomena uh, natural phenomena uh, you know maybe uh, the prime number pro- maybe various various mathematical problems uh, so right now uh, certain industries we can definitely clearly see that they're going to benefit like the pharmaceutical industry and so on but there are certain things that are still out there we we're not quite sure of uh, definitely scientific research will be will get a huge impetus with that especially uh, theoretical physics and quantum physics and all that maybe string theory we will be able to see whether it works or not we may be able to simulate a uh, various uh, kinds of gravity models dark matter dark energy that that sort of thing but i'm sure we will have lots of practical applications as well material science we'll be able to discover new materials uh, ceramics that are heat resistant uh, you know for example we, we want to uh, build better jet engines that can withstand higher and higher temperatures you, the turbine blades need to be able to withstand that but uh, eventually the best materials that you have beyond a certain uh, temperature they're going to disintegrate so this may be able to help us uh, discover better ceramics and better materials that can withstand incredible temperatures so the so this this has military applications as well this has commercial applications the possibilities are essentially infinite you could come up with all kinds of new applications that maybe you can't even think of today so this the, the kind of computational power it it will give you is going to open up a whole uh, realm of possibilities you yeah. know you know how we take social media for granted social media exists because of the internet which exists because of computers which yeah. exists because those vacuum tubes were turned into circuits at some point uh, semiconductors yes yeah. back when there were only vacuum t- tubes back when there were only vacuum tubes which were used in computers who would have thought that social media and these kind of mental health issues would become a thing eventually mm, indeed so you can't actually have hardcore predictions about what quantum computing can lead to all you can do is turn to the scientists and when you turn to the scientists and ask them about quantum computing people even like michio kaku who's one of the world's most renowned scientists is extremely excited about it. he says that this is the thing he's the most excited about for the period after his death i believe he's in his mid 70s or late 70s i see and he talks about quantum computing with so much excitement because it's going to change the course of humanity would you agree i do agree yes it's going to open okay. up a whole uh, realm of possibilities industrially uh, in the in terms of discovering new things discovering new cures all the all the things that we spoke about it's going to open up lots of possibilities that we don't have today and in the future if you are able to fit a quantum computer into a cell phone just imagine what what kind of power it will give you and obviously the governments and the militaries will benefit the most from it they will obviously have their eyes on certain areas and fields in which they would like to utilize this so yeah the quantum computing is the day, next frontier every government that uh, that matters every nation that is worth its salt is kind of right now focusing on that the americans are doing that the chinese are doing that uh, india i believe is also n- now taking it very seriously so yeah a, a number of nations are going to take the forefront in this and the nations that achieve leadership in this may actually end up ruling the world in the 21st century okay. you know it's the era of chat gpt one thing i know about technology is that it's always used researched upon and developed by governments possibly at least a decade before it's available for the public now we are so pumped about chat gpt and everything that it brings to the professional world without really talking about the fact that something like chat gpt has existed with the world government since a while i am sure it has but it's never been revealed to us So if we're talking about quantum computing coming up in the next 10 years chances are that a version of it is already being developed or has been developed uh likely by China now i don't know how likely it is uh that it's developed by China or America but we know it's going to be one of these two and there is a race to develop quantum computing because the moment you've developed quantum computing well 
you become a force in the world of hacking as well as cyber security you're able to build a very strong armor no one can hack your computers and you're able to hack any computer in the world because a simple thing like password hacking say your password is your birth date there's a fixed number of yes. birth dates you can possibly have that's yeah. a very easy password to break by i think it's called brute force brute force hacking yes even if your password is complex a quantum computer can break the most complex password by just doing brute force password very rapidly yeah because of the amount it's able to calculate yes this is a very dangerous possibility that's coming up someone is going to figure quantum computing and whoever figures it is going to become the most powerful government to ever have existed am Definitely. i right yes yes because you'll be able to uh, crack any kind of security uh, every nation has extremely secure communications and and things like that and uh, there are various uh, cryptographic alg algorithms that exist that that give you layers of security if you have a quantum computer you can break down the most complex uh, you know encryption just using brute force attacks because you have the computing power you know parallel uh, processing that any supercomputer doesn't have so yeah it gives you essentially a superpower that nobody else has so whoever uh, does this first is going to have a huge amount of uh, head space a huge leap forward that it will be very difficult for us to to catch up with so if you enjoy this video subscribe to trs clips for more